Hey there, it's Raven Scry. Uh, today I'm going to offer an open reading, leaving it totally open to whatever spirit wishes to share or show. Now, this is a complete reading uh, and, you know, within itself, but I also am going to perhaps go a little bit deeper, delve a little bit deeper in a more held space um, over in Patreon. Um, so if you feel to come over there, if you resonate, please do come over there and and you know be part of that but otherwise enjoy today's offering so let's get started okay so putting out the intention to leave it open to spirit today to share or show anything that they wish to um, there's a few things that have been popping into my mind as I've been preparing to do this but I feel as though the more open I leave it, the more important information will come in and enter the space um, in an authentic way. So just really leaving it open to whatever it is that Spirit wishes to share or show today um, and ask that they blend with me now. And I ask that it's a gentle blend, you know, a gentle uh, journey um, and that it's enjoyable as well. So just putting out that intention. Okay, so there's a river. Um, they're showing me a river and it's like I'm, I'm going to go on some sort of a journey. It feels like they want to take me through, um, like in a journey format. So they're showing me they're showing me this river and it's like walking down beside the river and as I connect to this I'm seeing orbs really coming in, pressing in uh, to, to the darkness. I've got my eyes closed so I'm just, um, just experiencing, I just feel these orbs as I walk down beside, beside this river. Now I feel as though there's a part of me that's sort of anticipating something or is a bit nervous or is a bit, you know, I can just feel my heart start to flutter uh, as, I, as I walk. And I'm aware that there's somebody down here and this person is singing. Um, and I want to say that they're singing by the water and um, they're singing all sorts of different tones and... I know this to be light language. I don't know if you are aware of what light language is or not, but I know this is what I know it to be, um, which is direct line of channel coming through from spirit, uh, coming through sound uh, and different um, different range of sound, essentially. Uh, that isn't a language that we know, you know, to be any language here on earth so it's just like a resonance of sound coming through this person now I'm aware that this person you know like I feel very connected to them and to be honest I I have done light language my own myself in the past it's something I'm very familiar with uh, but it's like I have to blend with this person so taking me down into this heart space and it feels as though they're taking me down further and further into the water and the heart. Uh, and it's like I'm moving into the water and as I move into the water, it's like this sensation is filling up my heart uh, and it's soft and relaxing, you know. It's like a beautiful relaxation as I enter this water. So now I'm under the water and it's like I'm, you know, I'm floating under here. But there's this part of me that knows there's more down here that I need to see. And it's like I'm being taken down further um, into the depths of the, of the ocean here. And it's like I'm seeing, it's like tablets, you know, it's like... Um, tablets like something that's been drawn or etched into something it's like some sort of um a language um some sort of an ancient language uh, now i want to say you know as i connect to this more i'm, I'm feeling the resonance of 
um, like monkey creatures and uh, I know they've come in in the past quite a bit but I feel like spirit is wanting to connect me into um, a connection here with these tablets and this information on these tablets it's like there's these monkey um, monkey creatures that feel feel connection um, to Lemuria like I know that to be Lemuria and um, but I'm not gonna you know speak to what I know I'm just gonna be with be with it right now uh, I feel as though this monkey energy is here to share and show um, and he's talking about the evolving race that's taking place you know the evolving um, it's like he's pointing to these these writings um, and it's like the, it talks about the evolution um, as we roll along. It's like he just kind of connects me to this rolling evolution. Um, and it's like he's pointing back to Lemuria but he's also pointing back back. It's interesting because it's back but it's forward, it's outside of time and space, you know, it's like as we perceive it along the timeline from the past to the future, yet it's beyond that, you know, it's it's out beyond time and space and so it's like uh, we know it to be the future but it's just there, it just is, is the way that he's showing this to me. Now it's interesting because I'm now being shown reference to um a monkey god and it's a it's a white god uh and what's coming to mind the wording is hanuman and actually i have had this come up in sessions with other people um but it's like this monkey god um in connection here uh with this with this monkey energy and this um learning that is bringing my attention to. So I ask, I ask spirit, help me to understand this. Um, you know, what's the insights here for the community to be known uh, and shared today? Talking about, uh, you know, an elevation through this, um, this monkey god, this this worshiping of this energy um and I feel as though they're impressing upon me that because this is for the group there's going to be people who understand this in in the way that they need to um because it's almost like I have a, a sense of not being able to understand uh, what they're giving because it's not for me um is how they show it but it's like there's this connection to this Hanuman god-like monkey energy um, for evolvement, spiritual evolvement on some level. Um, and now they're showing me this wall of scriptures. It's like this kind of wall of all of these writings. As I've connected to this monkey god, it's almost like it's higher part, it's higher aspect, uh, and now there is just this vast wall um, of information written in this stone, this stone wall. And I ask, help me to understand what's written here, you know, what's the importance here of this wall? It's like they're saying everything is written out here. Everything is written out already here on this wall. Um, and it's like it's beyond time and space, but we can view this wall and read this wall and it says everything that's going to happen uh, and everything that ever has happened. It's like it's all there. And it's like he's showing me these, um, inserting these almost like slips of stone into this wall. Uh, and it's like he's, he's showing me it's like a learning that's had Someone's had learning or someone's experienced something in life and they then put this, this 
learning in the wall, you know. It's, it feels like it's larger consciousness. And it's like all the different learnings that go on are, are making up this, this wall that we have access to, that we all have access to uh, through the different experiences. It's like all the different uh, experiences within the collective here. And as I touch this wall, I just feel this sense of like a golden resonance. It's like this energy that comes uh, and flows through me. It's like, wow. Um, now, it's interesting too because it's like as I touch it, it's like it's wanting to almost communicate to me this wall. And so I'm just going to allow this wall to communicate what it needs to with me now just showing me sun and again they're, they're referring to like gods sun god sun gods and there's like this golden sun energy that's coming through um, but it's timeless you know it moves through the ages um, in this golden energy and it's making me feel um, the golden energy from one of the last videos that I did this golden energy coming this Egyptian golden energy feels like it's blending with that um, the abundant energy it's like it's all there but it's like coming through um, this wall and being offered now I ask, why has this been shown today uh, in this video um, for the community? Why has this been shown? Please can I have a bit more insight uh, on that? Talking about the future coming quicker than you think. It's almost like, you know, they speak from outside time and space, but then in t inside time, it's like the future is coming quicker than you think. Um, and it's like prepare, there's a preparation here. Um, it feels very golden and elevated in the energy. And I want to say, you know, what's coming to mind now, I feel as though there is this blending of an example, but they're, they're strapping me in uh, to something. It's like there's going to be a shift uh, and it's like hold on tight. You know, um, there's going to be a vast shift that takes place. Um, but, you know, the focus on preparation, uh, preparation for this elevation that's about to um, come in, um, because it's like it's all written there on the wall. It's all just there on the wall written um, everything that ever happens is there on this wall. Um, and, yeah, big things are coming, it feels like, here. Now, it's interesting because I've got this bird that's come in. It feels like a hawk that's coming over, over the top here. Um, and it's placing an ankh in my hand. It's placing... Um, an Egyptian ankh in my hand. It's like there's all these energies coming through together. There's this Egyptian element. I feel as though this bird is coming from that Egyptian energy uh, also, but then also this Hanuman and this this godlike energy uh, and this wall with all the scriptures um, coming through. It's like all this energy is coming together again. They show it all coming together again. Um like in the past, they spoke about this pastel, these pastel colours. It's like it's making me remember other readings here, but it's like this great integration of different energies, but it's like all the different um, heightened um, energies are coming in to support this shift and this change. Um, so it certainly does feel like a big, powerful time and that they're with us uh, and these higher deities and gods or whatever you want to call them are very present at this time and their wisdom 
is with us um, and is part of this energy. And again, I just feel like it emanates as this kind of golden flow um, of energy coming in and really, in this case, coming from the wall and communicating through the cells. It's like communicating through the cells of our bodies as you open to this, this energy that's coming from this wall. I feel the presence of their orbs coming closer and what's interesting is they're taking me back to the scene of the singing, uh, the light language, the resonance coming through sound um, and it almost feels like a, you know, a download of energy and I want to say, you know, it's making me feel like it's a meditation or it's something to offer you guys um, and it feels like perhaps that's something that I should I work with to offer um, because they're wanting to experience or share the experience through energy and through sound because they keep showing it through vo voice and vocal um, and energy, uh, energy resonance. It's like it passes through the sound on into you and into your cells, uh, this flow, this exchange, um, yeah. So I'm just going to ask, is there anything more here uh, for today's session to be shared? They're also talking about drumming, um, implementing drumming elements into this. Um, it's interesting because it almost feels like you're you're hearing about you know the, what I'm being informed of to be sharing um, before it's shared. So. Uh, it's very much in the raw form what's going on here. Anything else to be shared today? They're just showing and sharing their, their energy coming in, uh, these different elements um, from different times. Um, yes, but it is outside of time and space, but it is all written in front of us. It's like a you know, a puzzle in the way it presents, but it's all coming together is the message here. For those who really resonated with this, uh, I'm going to head over to Patreon and just delve a little bit deeper into uh, some of the areas of what came through. Um, so if you feel to, come and join us over there. Otherwise, uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and many blessings. Raven Scry signing off.